Okay, so um, when you get a bit of information, when somebody tells you something uh, personal or anything like that, what is your first response internally that you're going to do with that information? There are some people that are going to use the information to um, strategically uh, like use it against the person themselves. This is a defense mechanism that they've learned um, from my experience. Uh, people have done this with me because they feel that if they have like the upper advantage, this is why I was always told in the past, don't tell everybody everything, don't be so honest, don't share so much, because you're a sharer, don't uh, let people know where you stand all the time or show all your cards. And I have never, ever hesitated really to do so. Maybe a little bit more now. I've understood some things, but I still don't find it necessary because if everybody was open and honest with each other, yeah, certain things would be a piss off. But at the same time... Um, there was never ever a need for myself to hide anything really. So when I did tell somebody where I stood, they would a lot of the times automatically use it against me. Now, not always did I understand for the reasons why, but I do understand the action itself. Doing that is usually a self-defense thing. So at some point, I must have made them feel threatened in some way to feel the need to use my information against me so that they could have the upper advantage and stay on top or in power somehow, even though I'm not actually a threat. Now, I do understand that insecurities are going to have a part in this because of the fact that when something is said to another person, even if it rings true, when their ego or something is triggered or an unhealed trauma is triggered, they're automatically going to go in the mode of, uh, just give me a second, they're going to go into the mode of um, self-defense. And when they've learned something especially like this sort of tactic of using uh, information against another person, that's what they're going to be, that's their go-to. Um, personally, when I have gotten information from people, I usually take it, I analyze it, and then I just kind of keep it with myself. There is no need for me to go out of my way to um, use that information against a person, especially if it's uh, of vulnerability or if it's of something like really personal um, or something like that that's not my first response my first response is to take the information and usually to see how I can integrate it into my life to see what I can resonate with like if this person's gone through this this and this I was like how can I relate to them somehow how can I use what I've gone through or my experience or maybe share something with myself to let them know that they they're not the only ones who've gone through it however that can also be taken to the extreme of some people as competition but then other people can be just taken as um you know they just want to talk about themselves but I think it's a like a relatability like how how you can associate with another person um, there's also other ways of taking information as well. Um, what your first response is tells you a lot about yourself too. Um, that should really give you some insight into the sort of things you've been through yourself and, um, how hurt you've personally been, <clears throat> uh, what it is that maybe you want to give a look at especially when it comes to healing, if that's something you decide you want to do. But it really does. If you take a moment when somebody tells you something personal or they tell you information that's valuable or, um, I don't know, their plans or whatever, your first response to the information that's given to you is going to give you insight into your own tr like traumas and uh, stuff like that. So I thought that's really important. I kind of wanted to get that jot down, but yeah. 
definitely take a look at that if you want to. If not, completely understand. I personally, my first response is to relate to a person uh, or take the information and just kind of analyze or keep it.